What is up YouTube and welcome to this Avengers 4 video. So if you're new to the channel, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe down below. Check out our Instagram, our Snapchat and our Twitter as well to keep up to date on all things Superhero Nexus as we move towards this winter. The Premier League is back. It's winter and that means, well... All the TV shows are going to be returning, which means we'll have a lot more content. And as we move in towards the winter, we will be having more daily uploads with covering things like The Flash, Arrow. Well, that, that's really it for the daily uploads. But they'll be interspersed with our usual sort of DC and Marvel movie and comic videos. So the daily uploads will return in one month, roughly time when all of the TV shows return. But this video is all about Marvel and I'm well aware that I've been doing more Marvel videos really but there's not really been that much to talk about in the Arrowverse to be honest. It's all just the same regurgitated rubbish which it's not really worth talking about. A 10 minute video talking about a behind the scenes picture of Barry and Nora Allen. Tss, yeah get out of here. But this is interesting, and this is something which I really do hope that actually happens in Avengers 4, which I am super excited about. I managed to get my hands on a uh, copy of Infinity War to tie me over until the 4K Blu-ray release comes out. Well, I've got the, I caved and got the digital copy, so please don't hold that against me. Please, because I, I, I need my 4K. But the biggest... Biggest heartbreak, which to be honest, we were all kind of expecting here in Avengers Infinity War, was the death, the death of poor old Loki. And really, that was his story coming full circle in a sort of roundabout way, because he obviously he was introduced in the first Thor movie, he was the villain of that, and well, that was that. But what we had here in Avengers, he was the primary villain, sort of, well... He was doing the bidding of Thanos, the internet or kind of the galactic warlord, the Mad Titan. So the Mad Titan sent him to do his bidding. And then as we went full circle, when it was the Thanos kind of motive and kind of his story, his journey here, well, we saw him really pay for his crimes and pay for well, letting down Thanos, and this was where he perished in the movie, and, well, personally, I was gutted, and this wasn't some sort of, like, you know, he was shot, he can come back like Agent Coulson or whatever, he was fully, fully dead. There was two snaps in that movie, the snap and the snap, but what happened next is, well, the greatest, probably, superhero movie of all time. However, we had to make do without Loki, but... Really, he got the proper send-off in Thor Ragnarok because it was very much a very Loki-heavy film and the banter between him and Chris Hemsworth was really, really good in that movie. And while this could be his swan song forever, well, I would accept that if he never came back. However, he might come back and he might come back in a different way. Now, while the Russo brothers said that the actual physical deaths were final. Yes, yes they are, because they are. And we only really had two people technically die fully in this movie. That was Gamora, who seemingly is trapped in the Soul Stone, weirdly, so I guess she could come back. And Loki, who, well, he had no Soul Stone to use. But let's not forget that there is a proper afterlife for Asgardians. There is Valhalla and Hell which obviously we experienced in Thor Ragnarok with Hela, and, well, she is the kind of queen of this domain of, well, Hell. Now, of course, in Thor Ragnarok, we did see her perish, kind of. Uh, part of me is thinking that, well, if she dies like on this on her corporal form, her kind of human form, there's got to be some magic that she would then return to Hell and, and retain and stay being the leader of hell which would be really really cool but we did see Surtur plunge his sword into Asgard and she was brought into oblivion now there's something else which could be really really freaking sweet is if Loki went to hell which he, he very might well do because you know 
he killed a lot of people and he's been a real shit throughout the MCU. But what we could see him is sitting on the throne of hell. So we could see him then, once he died, he then had a power struggle and then became the leader of hell. Now that would be awesome. Now what is interesting is that Tessa Thompson and a life-size model of Rocket Raccoon was seen over in Durham Cathedral. Durham Cathedral being the site of the place where we saw the kind of weird puddle thing in Age of Ultron where we had Thor go on his vision quest. So, yeah, that was incredibly out of place. That Thinking about it, that film sucked. But we got to see that scene, and we had Thor learn more about the Infinity Stones, which, in my opinion, was a real shame that he never learned more about it in Thor Ragnarok, which was pretty darn stupid, to be honest, if you're going to be telling a story and have that whole thing over in Thor Ragnarok and Age of Ultron. Yeah, but whatever. So they were seen here at Durham Cathedral, and Kate Blanchett has also been hinted at returning, with Tilda Swinton mentioning that she worked with her on the Marvel films. I don't remember Hela being in Doctor Strange. I don't remember the Ancient One being in Thor Ragnarok. So we could see these two return for the final fight of MCU. These. 10 or 11 years that we've had or will have had so far so with this in mind i definitely do think that they will be coming here and well regardless of who is on the throne of hell well that's gonna be badass this could be like some sort of return of the where we actually have the weird pirate ghost things return so if we have either thor or i mean loki and hella actually on the throne let's not forget that all of these crazy sort of dust snappings and all like that, well, they've gone inside the Soul Stone. Those souls don't belong to anyone apart from the Soul Stone. The Soul Stone is hungry for souls, so to speak. So we could see Hela or Loki really peeved off the half of the Asgardians who have been snapped into oblivion are not actually going to their afterlife into the soul, into Valhalla or Hell. So, they're going to be really annoyed, and even though Hela is, you know, going to be really, you know, got beef with Thor, major, major blood beef right there, she will probably help him because she wants to get these souls and have these souls, well, for her own, and, and she'd be really annoyed at that, in my opinion. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that that could actually happen? I do think that's a really interesting theory there that we could see Loki return in this way. And it'd be the most metal, badass, and the most Loki way to actually return from the dead and kick ass like that. So this could be a united front, another army to fight against Thanos. Now, I'm not too sure what they wanted to do here or how this will work, but it's an idea for him to return and return to Earth. Maybe he won't fully return, but he will fight the good fight nonetheless. However, that is it for this video. Please drop a like down below. Please do subscribe. Let me know what videos you want next. You want a Venom, Daredevil, Marvel, or a DC video? Let me know. Goodbye.